of breath? Or do you think there's more to see in this realm? So, what do you mean I see with the eyes of a child? In war, a soldier sees beauty only in the blood of his enemy. The rest of him is lost. Sometimes never to return. You... know about war, don't you? Wars are fought for two things. Survival or advantage. Battles may be won by the better soldier. Wars are won by those who are willing to sacrifice everything to ensure victory. How observant. I am known for my attention to detail. You boys look like you're gearing up for quite the journey. There's an abandoned temple in Midgard that a fellow dwarf converted to his personal storeroom. Packed it with all sorts of treasures he collected during his travels throughout the realms. Throughout the realms? Which ones did he go to? What did he collect? Fafnir was a, shall we say, aggressive collector of magical artifacts. The more he acquired, the more he desired. There was no realm too dangerous, no relic too hazardous. He once ventured deep into Niflheim for a whetstone of all things. Huh. I bet that was quite the whetstone. Does this story have a point? Yes, it does. I just happen to have an entry stone to Fafnir's storeroom. You might find something useful in there. Neat. Thanks, Sindri. You're very welcome. Oh, and uh, if you find that whetstone, well, it sure would be nice of you to bring it to me. I'd advise caution if you're heading to the storeroom. Last I was there, all manner of nastiness had taken up residence. Won't your friend be upset if we steal all of his stuff? Oh, <laughs> no. No, not at all. He's dead. I think. Oh, sorry. No, no need to be sorry. These things happen when one travels from realm to realm collecting priceless artifacts that don't belong to I'll see what I can fit together. Father, I have a confession to make. All those voices in my head, well, this wasn't the first time. Back when we met Brock, his enemy warned me about something hiding in the trees. That's why she didn't run across. She told you. Well, I could just feel what she was feeling. She was afraid of. It happens again. You tell me. Understand? I promise. What now? We have the light. To Midgard.
just came back from another realm. And we met your brother. Wait, not that old. Did you let that seed saw put hand to your blade? Hmm? You do know he lost his talent, right? Just up and left him one day. <laughs> Tried taking me down with him. Hmm. Did he botch up on a girl? Quite the opposite. Yeah, even a blind pig farts up a truffle now and again. But you know what really counts? Consistency. And I got that coming out of all of my parts. What did you do? It's better. Good. Now when you're done gawking, I got a favor to ask. What is it, Dwarf? There's this alchemist on Vari. Been working out in the Velander mines. Haven't heard from him in maybe, I don't know, a hundred winters or so. Probably dead, but uh, maybe you can find him. He's dwarfing like me. Wears a fancy green ring. Owes me a favor. You look? If it is on our path. Oh, I see how it is. Not a something for nothing type, are you? Fine. If you find Donvari, I'll make him whip you up something special. This entry stone here ought to get you inside those mines. Hey, Brock. You found something interesting. Do you remember the way back to the Black Breath? Of course. We need to walk across the bridge to the Vanaheim Tower. Are we going to the Black Breath? Or exploring? Your choice. Look, we rode past that statue of Thor earlier, when we left the witch's place. And what direction is that? It's mid-morning. The sun is over there, so... That's south. Southwest? <laughs> Don't look up, boy! I still can't read this. <laughs> oh look, the witch's magic is still covering those scorn poles. Saves us some time.
highway car is still down there, if you don't feel like climbing. Father, do you, do you think I could carry her now? No. But I... I said no. Okay. So who do you think carved the face in the mountain? You would know better than I. Thanks. Now watch our step. Carelessness will only delay us. Right. Well, there's the black breath again. What do we do now? We see if the witch was right. She was right. Come, let us finish this. Then we climb. You know, Mother said the Giants used to visit the Midgard Mountains before they disappeared. Disappeared? Yeah, I guess they just up and left one day. No one knows why. Perhaps they returned to their home. Teodenhan? Maybe. I wonder if the face in the mountain was a tribute to some important giant. Mel, we made it! More black breath. Giants did come here. Is that a deer? I don't remember stories of a giant with a deer head. I wonder who he is. Nothing. What does it say? No yoked beast, nor fearful thrall, nor rooted tree, 
must know my call. Hmm. I got up there. Mm. 